Hello, welcome to FYM React. Now, if this is the first time to the channel, this is a tutorial video I'm doing. Now, generally, I just do reaction videos, but I wanted to share a solution to an issue which I faced not so long ago. Now, I used to shoot all the videos with a digital camera. Now, this particular digital camera showed to be filming at 30 frames per second, but when I checked it in the top properties of the actual video file, it was actually shooting at 29.97 frames per second. Now I use a Blue Yeti microphone to record all of my vocal audio. Now the issue you're going to have, if you're using Audacity or any other program which captures your microphone audio, what will happen is when you try to sync that up to something which is 29.97 frames per second, you'll notice it may match up at the start but then it will gradually go out or it may be matched up at the end and it's completely out the rest of the time. Now there's a very simple fix for this. A friend of mine, Neil Robertson, took the footage from me, had a look what he could do to see about fixing it because we were convinced it might have been a problem with the camera but it wasn't whatsoever. It's literally you need to slightly slow down the speed of your audio for your voice which is coming through from the external mic obviously. Now by doing this you'd be very surprised it's not going to affect the tone or the pitch or anything it's just slowing it down ever so slightly. Now I'm going to show you all exactly how to do this. Now I cannot explain enough this will only work if your video shoots at 29.97 frames per second. Easiest way to do that in your editing program, if you right click the file, it will bring up all of the details under the properties. If you're showing as filming at a constant frame rate of 29.97 frames, then this will fix it for you. So what you want to do, if you're recording an Audacity, which I do highly recommend, it's a great program, absolutely free as well. So if you're recording an Audacity, you've got your vocal file, which you have just recorded here. Now what you need to do, you need to change the speed. Now in order to do this, you need to highlight that. So in order to highlight it, if you press Ctrl and A, it will turn that color there. Now I want to go into Effect. So if you select Effect, now come down to Change Speed. It's Change Speed you want to go into. So go into Change Speed. Now I've already had this before so that's why the settings are already there yours will look a little bit different here so under speed multiplier you want to select that and type in 0 0.999 now once you've done that go over to the percentage change just here now you want to type in minus 0 0.127 now everything else can be left exactly the same now if you need to pause and go back guys to make sure you've done it right absolutely fine so once you've done that if you click OK it will then, see my computer is quite fast because it's already done it. It will bring up a box and it will say that it's about to be done. Then it'll just, once it's done, it'll just bring you back to here. Now, you, all you then need to do is export this file, bring it into your editing software and just match it up with the video. And you'll notice it has no problem whatsoever. A lot of these um, video programs like Cyberlink, Power Director, uh, Sony Vegas, I know you can literally highlight the recordings, click Sync Audio, and it will match it up automatically. Now, I hope this video has helped for you. If that solved it for you, let me know. I'm 100% sure that this will have solved it for you. I've used this every time that I've had that issue um, when I used to use the digital camera. But let me know, guys. Be really interested. And if there's any, any other issues you have with video recordings, audio, by all means get in touch. I'm more than happy to see if it's anything I can help with. It may not be, but if I can help, I most certainly will for you. But I've got some more tutorial videos coming soon on how I make my reaction videos. I use two pieces of software. Sometimes I will use OBS, sometimes I will use Cyberlink Power Director. If I want a little bit of a better audio, edit i will use cyberlink power director because i can use audacity and it's a fantastic program for altering your audio if you need extra bass extra treble if you need to take the gain down slightly that's just what i do but thank you very much for watching guys and i look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial video or if you come over to the reaction videos it'd be great to see you there thank you very much